This video has been prepared for general information purposes only. The information is not legal advice. Legal advice is dependent upon the specific facts and circumstances of each situation. The information contained in this video cannot replace the advice of a competent, licensed attorney. You should be sure to consult an attorney in your area to discuss your particular case. I'm an attorney at South Carolina Legal Services. I would like to give you a little bit of information about temporary hearings in family court. In family court, the main case might be about divorce or custody or some other matter. A temporary hearing is a chance for the judge to decide what happens from that point until the next hearing. So what the judge decides is a temporary hearing is temporary. It's not permanent. At a temporary hearing, the judge will not ask the witnesses to give testimony. Testimony is what a witness says when they're on the stand and after they've been sworn in. Instead of taking testimony, a judge takes affidavits. Affidavit, it means a written statement that's been signed in front of a notary. Technically, an affidavit could be written on a napkin. When possible, it's better to put it in a more professional uh, type, if possible. We have examples of affidavits on our website if you'd like to look at them. But an affidavit is to tell the judge the simple bit of information the judge needs to know at the temporary hearing. If you were asking for custody at the temporary hearing, I would suggest that on your temporary affidavit, you start with general information. Number one, you might put your name. Number two might be your relationship to the children and the children's names. Number three could talk about why you want custody. Number four would be why you do not think the other party should have custody. If we're talking about your children and your temporary hearing, you should also try to get affidavits from other people. There may be other people in the children's life who could tell the judge something about why you should have custody. These might be neighbors, friends, family, but you should also consider some non-biased parties, those people that aren't necessarily on your side or aren't part of your family. Some people to consider would be daycare workers, the child's teachers, pastors, or counselors. If those people are willing to write an affidavit, it could really help your case. A pastor's affidavit, for example, could include the pastor's name, their position, how long they've known you, and what they've observed about how you care for your children. Everyone who does an affidavit must sign the affidavit in front of a notary. That's very important. If in your affidavit you refer to a particular document, you can attach that document to your affidavit. For all of your affidavits that you bring to court, you should make several copies. When you go to court, the original that the person actually signed in front of the notary will be handed up to the judge. Copies will be given to the other attorney or the other side of the case. In addition, you should take a financial declaration. A financial declaration is a form that shows the money that you have coming in every month and what you spend on bills. So for example, if you get a check of some sort, such as a disability check or an employment check, you should put talk about your bills. You should, you should include the specific amounts you spend on different items, such as rent or food or electricity. The financial declaration form has these already listed for you. When you're done with the financial declaration, you should sign it in front of a notary. You should bring that original and several copies to court with you. If you cannot access the financial declaration form or you cannot understand it, you can make your own financial declaration by very neatly writing out or printing out the money you have coming in every month and the money that you spend on different bills. When you go to court, take with you your affidavits and your financial declaration. Please keep in mind the judge has limited time. Most temporary hearings are only scheduled for 15 minutes or 30 minutes. Therefore, the judge does not have time to review 10 to 15 affidavits per person. Try to pick the most important affidavits, the ones that tell the judge important information about your children or the issues in your case.